Hey guys, today as promised, I have a follow-up video on iOS 11.3 beta 5 versus iOS 11.3 beta 4. I've tested the battery, took hours and hours of testing as usual. I have all the results here and I wanted to share those with you guys. I do have a time lapse towards the end of the video to show you the difference in battery performance. So if we do have a time lapse, it means there was a difference. So stay tuned towards the end of the video. But before we get to that, I did want to mention that in terms of performance, we've seen improvements on all devices slightly when it comes to animations, to unlocking, to booting up and things of that nature. So iOS 11.3 beta 5, it's pretty close to being the official release of iOS. So as I mentioned previously on my uh, coverage for iOS 11.3 beta 5 initial coverage, I said that we could see another beta, beta 6, and then uh, Gold Master copy after that in the official release sometime in the beginning of April. We'll have to just wait and see for that, but it looks like that's going to be the case. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the time lapse for iOS 11.3 beta 4. Starting from left to right is going to be the iPhone 6, 6s, 7, 8 and iPhone 10. So iPhone 6 died at 5 hours and 43 minutes in iOS 11.3 beta 4. The 6s, 4 hours and 35 minutes, not good at all. Uh, the iPhone 7, 4 hours and 33 minutes. Then we have the iPhone 8 with 5 hours and 48. And then the iPhone 10, which is always the best performance with 7 hours and 27 minutes. So now let's take a look at beta 5. So again, same devices, iPhone 6, 6s, 7, 8, and 10. These are all the plus models, by the way. So the iPhone 6 died with 5 hours and 53 minutes. That's an extra 10 to 15 minutes of extra on screen time, which is always good. We also have the iPhone 6s with 4 hours and 40 minutes. So not a major improvement there. The 6s is really struggling with 11. Point three. The iPhone 7, however, I uh, was really impressed by it. it. has an extra 20 minutes of on-screen time with 4 hours and 53 minutes uh, versus beta 4 and beta 5. And uh, iPhone 8, 5 hours and 58 minutes, which gives it a good 10 to 15 minutes of extra on-screen time. And the best performing device, as always, keeps improving upon its performance. The iPhone 10 with an additional 15 to 20 minutes of extra on-screen time. In beta 5, it gave us 7 hours and 40 minutes. Very, uh, very, very impressive. Impressive. So those are the results with iOS 11.3 uh, beta 4 versus beta 5. The battery has been improving slowly. The only device that really didn't see a whole lot of improvement was the iPhone 6s. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.